Some angry parents are out here yelling about the evils of heavy music again. So, the word of the day today is Satanic Panic 2024 Knocked Loose Edition. That's right, the word of the day today is actually six words. So recently you might have seen that Knocked Loose and Poppy played Jimmy Kimmel live. And who would have thunk that it caused a bunch of drama and a whole stir online. And today I'm so excited to get into it because I love this story, but before I do, hey, hi, hello, my name is Dan Frampton, and this is my humble little YouTube channel. Why don't you like, subscribe, and comment? If you do so within the first three hours, I will reply. I call that the Frampton Guarantee. So the situation generally goes like this. Knocked Loose was signed to play Jimmy Kimmel Live. They went on and did so on November 26th, and it caused the regular viewers of Jimmy Kimmel Live to go to the Facebook page of Jimmy Kimmel to voice some angry words. They were out here demanding an apology because the heavy sounds made their kids cry. They go as far to tell the band that they should game end themselves because they like to scream. There's a whole bunch of scream and mosh slander going on here that I think is just amazing. When I first saw this little advertisement over here that Knocked Loose was gonna play Jimmy Kimmel, I was like, yo, this reminds me of when I was a 15 year old kid and Slipknot came on to play Conan. I remember reading that they were gonna be on Conan's show and being like, I have to stay up to watch this. Here I am in grade like seven or eight. I'm way outside the demographic of this kind of thing and I stay up and I witness Conan O'Brien for the first time as I watch Slipknot perform on his show. So to say that this episode of Conan O'Brien influenced me would be the understatement of my entire life. And then Slipknot, yeah, went on to play to a bunch of normies on NBC or whatever network this was on at the time. Yeah, NBC, I, I nailed it. And 15 year old me was loving every moment of it. I couldn't believe my favorite band that played heavy music about like not having eyes and about your entrails falling out were playing on Conan O'Brien to a bunch of regular old people. I thought this was the coolest thing in the world. So even though I'm not so much into Slipknot these days, Days. This whole thing over here, this knock loose Jimmy Kimmel poster, gave me those kind of vibes, knowing that there's gonna be like a 14, 15, 16 year old kid out there that is gonna be exposed to this for the first time, and it's gonna change the way that they look at comedy, it's gonna change the way that they look at music, it's gonna change the way that they look at the whole landscape of entertainment, and that made me pretty excited. On this channel, I have been pretty critical of Knocked Loose and of Slipknot, to be honest, in recent years, but I did give Knocked Loose's new record pretty high reviews, but their song with Poppy, I gave astronomical reviews too. I loved the track Suffocate. Knock Loose and Poppy was a marriage made in heaven. And that marriage is what they wanted to bring to Jimmy Kimmel. Here's Conan O'Brien holding up the Slipknot record. And here's Jimmy Kimmel holding up the Knocked Loose record. It may be 23 years apart, but these two clips are very close to my heart. I didn't mean to rhyme there, I'm very sorry. Rhyming is cringe. And I will say this is a pretty big moment for heavy music right now. I've been a longtime fan of Knock Loose. I've kind of fallen off of them in recent years, but to see them playing in front of an audience like this on Jimmy Kimmel is very cool, I'm not gonna lie. And the late night mosh pit is so funny. We're gonna get into the late night mosh pit here in a little bit, but the circle pit opens up on Jimmy Kimmel Live. I never thought in a million years that I would see a circle pit on Jimmy Kimmel Live but there's video evidence of such a thing happening. But before we get into the circle pit action, let's go over to revolver.com because they gathered a couple quotes that were left on Jimmy Kimmel's Facebook page regarding that set. While the pit was going off, a handful of viewers took to Facebook to suggest that Knock Loose <coughs> go ahead and end things before they were supposed to. The cause of concern to them was a mix of screaming, moshing, and guitar junting. And we got three quotes here. Now if you read headlines, it'll make it seem like everybody is demanding an apology when really it was just one crazy lady out here that was demanding the apology. But there's a couple good quotes in here. The first one goes like this. You know, I was just trying to enjoy the program. I was sitting on the couch with my son, who is an adolescent, waiting to see the musical guest 
because we like the nice music that the show usually books. By the third or fourth junt, my son was in tears. He doesn't like scary things, and quite frankly, I think Jimmy Kimmel and its staff should make a formal apology. Now to me, because of how extreme this is and how hilarious it is, it seems like a troll, but because it happened on Facebook, I think it might be sincere, it might be genuine. My son was in tears. How could you? Don't you know there's adolescents out there that are scared of evil things? <laughs> so funny, dude. By the third or fourth junt, you clearly have no idea about heavy music. Those are Judd. You need to go listen to some Judd Judd right now. Judd Judd. Another Facebook commenter wrote, How do I sing along to this, lol? Sounds just like a screaming frenzy to me. Actually, starting to hurt my ears. People who listen to this have no room to complain about crying babies or screaming two-year-olds making a tantrum. Ha ha ha. Unreal. They call this music, Jimmy? It's so ignorant. It's so funny, but I love how much of a stir it's causing. I don't know if you know how good a musicians all those guys are in that band. And that screaming is actually a talent. You don't just scream. It requires technique in order to do it well. We got one more golden nugget here before we take a look at the Jimmy Kimmel Live mosh pit that took place. And it goes like this. What's with all the screaming and spewing gibberish in the name of music? There's absolutely nothing appealing about this genre of music. Also, the crowd responding to this crazy, woke musical genre all need to visit shrinks. Do we? Heavy music is for the crazy and insane. And for the woke. <laughs> so good. Holy shit. That makes my day. The fact that heavy music is driving people to go this kind of crazy in the year 2024, so good. But I promised a mosh pit analysis, and that is exactly what we're gonna do right here, right now. Now, if you're not familiar with mosh pits, if you are one of these people that were just introduced to Knock Loose through all of this, I'm gonna show you what they call in the business a circle pit. It's basically where the crowd separates and leaves like a circle arena for the slam dancers to slam in as they run around in a circle. This kind of thing is normally initiated by the lead singer of a band who would say one of two things. A. Let's open this shit up. Or B. Circle pit in this motion here. If the lead singer of a band does that sort of thing and the crowd doesn't respond, that's a crime against music. So here we go, Jimmy Kimmel live. The audience member cameraman is focused on the band right now, but quickly pivots over and here we go. That's a circle pit. We got people throwing spin kicks. We got a couple windmills. Really lackluster if I'm being honest with you. That is kind of the mosh pit that I would expect on Jimmy Kimmel live. Half-ass spin kicks, a one-armed windmill, and just people going like this. <laughs> like, oh, I've seen moshing on the internet once. That's the kind of mosh pit this is, but I love to see it. I love to see new people engaging with this culture. I'm not here to make fun of it. I'm just here to analyze it and saying that these are all slam dance rookies out here. Green beans. Now this is gonna be our second trip back to the circle pit and let's see how these slam dancers have progressed. <laughs> Now there's more of them, definitely more of them, and they're adding a little bit of two-stepping, a little bit of skanking, and some fist throwing. And you see, just adding more people to it just adds that kind of chaos and that kind of frenzy that is amazing for slam dancers. So even though they're all novices, very much rookies, that kind of chaos and that kind of insanity can still be created with enough enthusiasm. Oh man, Poppy. Playing with Knock Loose might be musical moment of the year. Okay, we're gonna go back to the pit here. We got more fist pumping going on. We saw it filling up a little bit there, but the circle action is slowing down. Oh, we got a little bit of side to side there. So all in all, I gotta say, I love this. Bringing new people into the music, taking the slam dances to the mainstream. When I started doing slam dance analysis a couple years ago here on the channel, I never thought that it was gonna reach TikTok and then let alone mainstream television. But here it is, there is a mainstream television mosh pit going on right here in the year 2024. And I gotta say, I'm here for it. If this night made some Post Malone fan go, you know what? I'd rather do whatever the hell this knock loose crap is than I think that that is a win. So that was Satanic Panic 2024 Knock Loose Edition. I've been Dan Frampton. See you later.